Los pobres necesitan más el Evangelio. The greatest necessity of the poor is the gospel. Go and preach the gospel. How vital are these words, what riches they contain. Because by preaching the gospel, the poor discover happiness, not only eternal happiness, but also material happiness, as they come to live with dignity. The problem of the third world is undeniably grave and requires an immediate solution. The mission at Gentes, which is to say the evangelization of mission territories, retains, even in the third millennium, all of its relevance and urgency. It must not be forgotten for fear of betraying the fundamental mission of the Church to announce the Gospel. The missionary servants of the poor are aware that a lack of God is true poverty which must be immediately addressed and forms the root of material poverty. Because of this, the missionaries work to break the barriers of pride and selfishness which impede their encounter with God. In order to achieve this, the missionaries focus their spiritual life on the servant of Yahweh. The key to this spirituality is the constant search for the personal sanctity. Service of the poor should be the result of a continual conversion in which one becomes more unified with God and more full of His Spirit. El corazón del misionero tiene que ser el mismo corazón de Cristo. The heart of the missionary must be the same as that of Christ, which is always dedicated to the salvation of souls. Jesus was saddened by the sight of people without shepherds, and this sadness is what I experience as a missionary, and what all missionaries experience when surrounded by the poor who seek salvation. The first two vows of the missionary servants of the poor of the third world are as follows. The humble and silent evangelization and the pledge to help the poor achieve living conditions in accordance with their dignity as persons and children of God. The heart of Christ, sensitive and deeply loving, is not indifferent to the hunger of children, the injustices, and the abandonment of the poor. It demands attention and service, and works to put an end to the suffering of our brothers, the poor. The heart of Jesus favors those who are shunned by man. Though they may be forgotten by all, the poor are never forgotten by Jesus. Because of this, the movement works to bring Jesus and his church to the poor, not with politics, nor with words, but with works, with Jesus himself. To help the poor does not mean to only attend to the poor, giving them all things free, or giving them only food or clothes, because doing this only transforms them into eternal beggars. 
My major concern was to provide the poor with a wholesome formation, not only spiritual but human, through teachings and work, because the greatest poverty is ignorance. The missionary has to discover the talents of the poor in order to pull him from poverty, hunger, and abandonment using the gifts which God has given to each one. Christ loves the poor, so he is very demanding of the missionaries who work among them, knowing well that only when man gives fully of himself is he able to know himself and touch the hearts of his needy brothers. The different communities of the movement form its heart and soul. The contemplative brothers, the priests and brothers, the missionary sisters and the missionary families. Each of these communities live following their unique vocations as missionary servants of the poor of the third world. They live as small communities, giving their lives to the poor and testifying to the importance of prayer over all other mediums and resources.